Sadly, young children in Lubbock are taking attempts on their own lives at the highest rate across the state of Texas. That's according to Covenant Health, which has partnered with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention to raise funds for awareness and research. KCBD News Channel 11's Jaden Santos tells us how you can support. Out of her sorrow and her grief, she knew something had to be done to raise awareness through sharing his story. 19 years ago, Kelly Fortney, a longtime member at Covenant Health, co-founded the first Out of Darkness Walk in Lubbock to honor her son's memory. Justin Reeves took his life in 2005. Casey Kaufman, Chief Mission Officer for Covenant Medical Group, says it takes just one person to change a life. This is preventable. This is um, a sad story that so many of us go in memory. What if we could turn it around and say, I play a role in advocacy because I partner with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Tracy Summers, area director of the West Texas chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, says they know there's a spike among young children attempting to take their life. So the chapter is taking charge to make change. And so we're really focusing on getting in those schools, teaching our youth that if you're not okay, there are resources for you. But it starts with the conversation. It starts with that conversation. It starts with the education. It starts with letting our youth know, find a trusted person. Summer says she hopes the Out of Darkness Walk can be used to advocate for awareness. And that is also what we try to do in our walks. We try to bring our communities together to let people know that they are not alone in this fight. We want to honor and remember the people that we've lost, but we also really want to have that message of hope. Kaufman says she wants people to know they are loved and that people care about your life. Yeah, to someone. And so if not for you, do it for those that are your circle around you that love you dearly and do not want to see you suffer, do not want to see you in crisis, do not want to see you thinking maybe maybe the world's better without me. If, if you're in any of that category where you're like, I just, I think I could be a little bit better um, and I owe my family that, then come out. Another resource is a suicide hotline, 988. This number includes services for Spanish speakers LGBTQIA plus youth and young adults, as well as people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Jaden Santos, KCBD News Channel 11. The walk will take place tomorrow evening at National Ranching Heritage Center. It's, a, it's free to enter with on-site registration starting at 6 o'clock, followed by the opening ceremonies at 7. And you can also pre-register online. You can find the link to that at kcbd.com.